Hey, how's it going? I'm Anthony Ottawas, and I've got some exciting news for you if you've been following along with the Web 3D projects. Now, I'm sorry that I've ignored a couple of the questions around getting started in the previous repository, uh, but I just wanted to develop a better solution for getting people started with React 3 Fiber. So that's what this video is all about. It's kicking off a new project and a new series all about making it as easy as possible to get started with Web 3D using React 3 Fiber and all the other technologies related to it. So let's get started. So starting out, we've got the usual repository. It's a new one, and this one shouldn't go away and uh, hopefully will stay alive for everybody to uh, be able to use. And this has a completely different approach. So what's good about this is we don't have to have everything perfect for a follow along type in the code type stuff. Instead, this is an actual running application that you, uh, you, cr you deploy locally and then you can work with it and then you can deploy it to the web exactly as it is. So uh, it should make everything a little easier. When people have issues, I can correct it in here rather than you know fixing your file. Uh, I did a lot of that for people and I don't mind, but I figured this was a better way to get people started. So this is what this looks like. When you come into it, it's very simple. Um, it, it actually should have nothing on it or a single test. And it's as easy as we go to click on this. We're going to give something a name. Sure, I'll just whatever I want. You can choose a template. Now, the templates are uh, pretty limited. This is going to put it in a uh, stage with, that's floating. And you can always edit these things later. Uh, and then you can say scene. We'll do the bare minimum. It'll just connect everything for you. Ambient light intensity. You know, the higher you have this, the uh, brighter the lights in your scene are going to be. Precision is how many places past the decimal point. Lighting multiplier is similar on the lighting. And you just choose your, your options here. If you have a camera in the scene, you definitely want to say use camera. Um, I'm going to say use orbit controls. But you're going to choose your GLB file. Let's just grab one real quick. I don't even know what this is. We'll hit OK. And it created a page for you. And we have a little listing for it here. If you want, you can add a thumbnail. You just click here and it'll, it'll add it. It'll give you a link so that you can see what you did. And I've got the orbit controls. It's in the stage and it's that easy to get started. So I wanted everybody to see that I've included some help here because I don't, I don't expect people to get it right off the bat. They're going to want to, um, oh, let, me, let me go back here. I want to get rid of this page. That's a convenience function. Okay. So once you've done this and you, you get your example files or your things in your assets to look how you want them to look. So for example, I've got my little guy here. Um, and I just went and edited the page and started adding regular HTML to it, which is always an option. You can keep the canvas as your background and we'll go through some other options as we go through this series. But, um, as you go through things, you're obviously going to want to edit stuff. You know, once you get past the point where you're like, oh, okay, the stuff that I brought in from Blender looks really good. And now I want to actually, you know, use it in a larger website. And we're going to make that easy to do too. But for now, what I did is I have this help tab. And this help tab has a link to everything that's involved in this project. There's a lot of technologies that go into stuff like this. I included even... Um, a 2D component library that I think is very good. You can see a whole bunch of components here. Uh, it's my favorite one to use with React. It's not necessary that you use it, but it's already included. And I've got the, all the setup for Next.js with all of its funky routing in its latest incarnation. Um, you know, links to all of the other technologies, including uh, the stuff in GLTF that is ex that is supported in Blender because. I'm a Blender guy and uh, it's free and it, that's what I'm going to use to help everybody learn how to do this stuff. Of course, a link to Discord and, and uh, other stuff. But here's what's exciting is I'm not done with this project. I just wanted to get it in people's hands. And what we're going to start adding, adding is after you have a file and you bring it in and you, know, you just get past this basic point of 
you know, having something to work with, then we're going to start getting into uh, integrating an editor, integrating a, a material solution, integrating things like theater JS. I don't know how well that's going to go, but that's my attempt. And I'm going to just do a video every time I add a major feature and try to keep this going. Yeah. So if you want a feature added, if there's something you're running into, please, you can do a comment in YouTube. You can do it on discord and I will respond to you. I will try to get a solution into the actual project rather than do stuff for you. Um, because I figure if you're running into an issue, everybody's running into an issue and we can make it easier for everybody. And do the same thing for requesting features. If you put it in a GitHub issues, then people can upvote them. And that might help me have the understanding of what priority features to do before others. And we'll try to get those out to everybody. Uh, have fun. Let me know what you come up with, and I'm excited to see how this works out. Thanks.